Ezra Venachem Yah, Nehemiah 1. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Chechaliah, and it came to pass in the month Kilev, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shishan the palace, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came, and he, rather, he and certain men of Yahuda, and I asked them concerning the Yahudim that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Yerushalayim. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Yerushalayim also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard at these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted, and prayed before the Elohim of heaven, and said, I beseech you, O Yahweh Elohai of heaven, the great and terrible Elohim that guards the covenant and shows mercy for them that love him and guard his commandments. Let your ear now be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servant, which I pray before you now, day and night, for the children of Yah El, your servants, and confess the sins of the children of Yarushalayim, rather, and the children of Yashadael, which we have sinned against you, both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against you and have not guarded at the commandments, nor at the statutes, nor at the judgments, which you commanded your servant at Moshe. Remember, I beseech you, at the word that you commanded your servant at Moshe, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if ye turn unto me and guard my commandments and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heavens, yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set eth my name there. Now these are your servants and your people, whom you have redeemed by your great power and by your strong hand. O Adonai, I beseech you, let now your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and to the prayer of your servants, who desire to fear at your name. And prosper, I pray you, your servant this day. And grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cup-bearer.